let's make some tissue paper roses. So you're gonna start with three different options and I'll show you how to make all three. You need scissors, a stapler, and just one sheet of tissue paper per rose is perfect. I just folded mine over and if you do just fold it over instead of starting by cutting them into squares, make sure you cut those folds apart. Otherwise the last step of this project is gonna be really tricky. So just cut along the fold lines until you have a stack of tissue paper squares. Then you're gonna line them all up and you're gonna start along the bottom of your stack and you're gonna fold it up and mm, about an inch is fine, not too big. Then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna fold it back on itself again. Make sure you crease it really well, so push down that paper hard, then flip it over, fold it up, and you're gonna just keep doing that until you get to the end of your paper. Then once you're done with your last fold, hold it kind of in the middle of that folded paper. Take the stapler and staple it about in the middle of the tissue paper fold. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then we're gonna trim the edges to make your petals. So you can do three different options here. Option one is gonna do a curve, like a semicircle. That's gonna make rounded petals. Option two is to take your tissue paper and kind of trim off the corners so you have pointy, like an arrow shape almost at the end of your petals. Do it on both sides, so pointy, pointy. Option number three is to cut it like a U shape and you can do that again on both sides. So it's just gonna make your flower look a little bit different at the end, but you pick what you want. Then you're gonna fan out those folds, kind of hold your fingers together and pinch it. And this last step is to fluff. So you're gonna take your fingers and kind of rub them together like you were trying to get like a plastic bag that's stuck together and you wanna open it. Rub them together to separate the tissue paper and then gently pull and lift the separate sheets of tissue paper so they can start to become voluminous, right? The fluffier you make your tissue paper, the more you separate and crunch it up, the bigger and fluffier your rose will be. So this step can take a little while because you have to be kind of gentle, otherwise oh, you'll tear it and you don't wanna tear it because then it'll just be like shredded little pieces of tissue paper instead of a rose. So you're gonna just keep going around, pulling those sheets, fluffing them up, pulling the sheet, fluffing it up. Every now and then I like to just kind of scrunch it upwards in the middle to kind of push it together. And when you are all done, it'll look like this. And there's the rounded petals. This one is the arrow pointy, like the pointy petals. And this one is the U shape. So see how they're a little bit different. Hopefully that gives you an idea. Have fun. Ah!